depending on what disease you have, there are really different treatment options. So for polycythemia vera, um, the initial treatment op option is really phlebotomy, where we're actually trying to lower your red blood cell count by taking blood off of you, and that's done at a regular basis. If you're at a higher risk of complications from polycythemia vera, we talk about potential treatment options, and those include hydroxyurea, especially in the upfront setting, um, or interferon, usually a pegylated interferon. Um, whether or not you're in childbearing years or whether you're planning to have a child may actually influence how we would treat you initially. Ruxolitinib has also been approved for treatment of hydroxyurea failure polycythemia vera patients, so that's a treatment option that is out there. And there are clinical trials looking at new options for therapy for polycythemia vera. Essential thrombocythemia is a little different. We're initially really trying to control the platelet count. Um, and in young patients who don't have a JAK2 mutation, it may be permissive to let that platelet count ride and a little bit on the high level, just trying to prevent a blood clot. Those patients are in a better prognostic situation. In patients who have other risk factors for blood clots or who have a JAK2 mutation or are a little older, we may actively try and bring down that, that platelet count. Again, we use hydroxyurea or we can use a drug called anegrolide. Also, we consider using pegylated interferon, um, and ruxolitinib is sometimes used for these patients at well, as well. For primary myelofibrosis, uh, a lot of patients really present with uh, a, initial signs of some bone marrow failure with a very, very large spleen. Um, you know, the spleen size is really a big problem for patients. They lose weight, they have fevers, they have night sweats, they have fatigue, they don't feel well. Uh, ruxolitinib is the only drug that's really approved to treat primary myelofibrosis, although, again, hydroxyurea and ruxolitinib are, uh, and uh, pegylated interferon are also used in that situation as well. This is an active area of research of clinical trials that are in production looking to improve the treatment of patients with primary myelofibrosis. For all of these uh, diseases, there's no curative therapy but a bone marrow transplant. But bone marrow transplant is a very risky procedure with a very high mortality rate. So that's really reserved for people who we believe their mortality rate is even higher than it would be if they had a bone marrow transplant. And bone marrow transplants have had, the literature is very mixed on, on the overall survival and success uh, of these transplant patients. Uh, so looking for better ways to transplant and better curative therapies for patients with myeloproliferative neoplasms is a real research priority.